So right now I have my turban on and I usually use a turban straight out of the shower. I literally don't brush my hair, just wrap it as soon as I step out of the water. So my first tip is no matter what kind of hair type you have is invest in a hair turban. I think that they're worth the investment. They're obviously a little bit more expensive than a towel that you would just use on your body. The first part of my routine is taking my hair out of my turban. So once you've taken your hair out of your turban, you want to part your hair the way that you would just because you don't want to be touching it a lot when it starts drying up. So I usually part my hair to the left side. So as you can see, I have it to the left. But one of the most important things is brushing your hair in the shower. So I do exactly that. Uh, before I show you what I use to brush my hair though, I want to show you the products that I actually use in the shower because I think that is very important in your hair care routine. You want to find products that work for you and your hair type. So the shampoos that I use are a little bit different from my last um, permed hair routine. I still use the Shea Moisture uh, Moisture Retention Shampoo, which is this one right here. So the Shea Moisture brand is really, really good for your hair. Uh, whether you have permed hair or color treated hair or bleached hair, whatever it is, this shampoo is really, really great. And it has the word retention in there because it actually helps your hair in between washes so you don't have to wash it as much. So I have switched like my primary shampoo. So this is the shampoo that I will use every single time in the shower now. Um, the Shea Moisture one I use um maybe every other week i do live in florida and it's very humid so i do sweat a lot when i'm outside so i feel like i have to wash my hair more i've also found that since i've cut my hair my hair becomes more oily um i don't know why that is maybe because it's heavier so this one right here is the dove anti-frizz oil shampoo so this shampoo is meant for frizzy and dry hair um, I would 100% recommend you guys check out the Dove line. Dove has amazing shampoos and conditioners. They're so nourishing for your hair. And I always get really skeptical about drugstore shampoos just because I've learned so much about them. I always feel like Dove does so much good to my hair and it leaves it feeling so moisturized. And their bottle is 100% recycled. So the conditioner is the matching one. So this is the one for frizzy hair. And it's just from the same like line so i actually use this um i don't know what it's called but it's like this little silicone bristle like brush thing it's from the brand diane and i purchased this in ulta um it's, it wasn't like any more than ten dollars and this is the best thing because it really gets into your hair i purchased this when i first got my perm because I didn't want to disrupt my curls, so I would use this to like get into the places where I couldn't get in. I've realized that I needed this even before I had a perm. So if you guys don't have one of these, I recommend you invest in one of them. I will leave links down below where you guys can find them on Amazon. Um, and I'll also try to find the exact one so you can purchase it. But this one is so nice. It has little silicone bristles on it and you would think that it would tug and pull in your hair. But once you have your shampoo in your scalp and you use this, it really just glides smoothly. It makes your hair feel so clean and it really gets in there and gives you a really good wash. In between my conditioner, um, I part my hair into two and then I apply conditioner on my ends and I use a brush. This is just like a, it's not really wide tooth comb, but it kind of is, I don't know. Um, This is Medbico. I don't know i'll link it down below i don't know where i got mine exactly but i know they do have them on amazon this is so helpful for curly straight all kinds of hair brush your hair in the shower it'll save you so much time it'll help you get all of the tangles out and be super sensitive because again your hair is so sensitive when your hair is wet do you recommend getting one of these and keeping it in the shower now on to what i do after the shower my hair is getting a little bit dry so i'm gonna go straight into it so i use a leave-in conditioner and i use one every single time i shower and i wash my hair this is the mixed chicks leave-in conditioner and it looks like this it really looks like egg to me <laughs> um i got this from target and it's a little bit pricey but i've had it since august and it is now november so it's lasted me a good amount of time and it's like halfway so i kind of just if you can tell i'm like scrunching it into my hair not really tugging on my hair because i don't want to disrupt 
whatever curls I have from the perm left. So you want to apply leave-in conditioner to your hair as soon as you can straight out of the shower. The more wet that your hair is, the more that it's going to retain um, that moisture from the leave-in conditioner. So I have learned throughout these past few months of having a perm that less is more. I did make the mistake at the beginning of buying so many products and then I realized that I didn't need all of the product. Everybody's hair is different. Everybody's texture is different. Um, just because you got a perm doesn't mean you're going to be using the same products as someone else who had a perm. This is what I use and do with it as you will. I really have minimized the products that I use. When my hair has too many products in it, it gets heavy, it gets really oily, and I have to wash it faster. After I do my leave-in conditioner, which again is essential, I will do that every single time. I will never leave it out. The products that I'm going to be using next change and the order that I use them in actually change as well. I use this Carl Smith's Hold Me Softly Style Balm. It's this one right here. I purchased mine from Ulta and the Carl Smith line is a little bit expensive. This works great on my hair and basically this is just like a styling cream so it's good for curly and wavy hair and I use this much for all of my hair. Keep in mind I do have short hair so I'm using way less product than I would if my hair was the length that it was when I first got my perm. It smells so good, it smells like oranges. So as I'm scrunching the products into my hair, they're going to start drying and then they're going to take the form of, or they're going to mold in the form of the curl, which is why I like using the scrunching technique. So another tip that I have for you is try to avoid applying too much product onto your roots. So for the Curl Smiths Balm, I don't apply this to my roots at all because first of all, my roots are growing out so my perm is no longer on there. There's no need for me to apply this on there. But my leave-in conditioner, I do apply to my roots because it's leave-in conditioner and it's supposed to like moisturize my entire hair. So after I've applied the styling gel, I have four products that I will either choose from and it all depends on how I want my hair to feel, the texture, how long I'm going to be wearing my perm, um, and I'll explain what I mean. Also like what my plans are, what time I wash my hair, like it all seriously depends on all of those factors. I will either go in with a like curl enhancer. Um, so I have here the Curl Smith's Curl Defining Styling Souffle and this has a very interesting texture to it. When I first purchased it, I was a little taken by surprise. So this is literally like, it's so weird, like the texture of it, but it's almost like a holding, like a casting gel. This makes my hair very crunchy. Like this makes my hair so crunchy. I feel like I'm applying gel to it, but it really holds the curls in your hair. So this is what I will use if I am going out. It does make my hair very stiff and it's a very like heavy but light gel. If you want like that like really cast curl type of look. If you want a softer curl, which I feel like most of us do want, um, you could still use this but maybe mix it in with some water the other one that i have i mentioned this in my last perm video and i haven't even really used it which is such a shame this is the shea moisture coconut and hibiscus curl enhancing smoothie so this is relatively similar to the last product that i showed you i know a lot of people swear by this and they love this um you could also mix this in with water and i've actually found that if you mix this in with water it makes your hair more soft and not gel like so i could either go that route and apply one of those products and then be done with my routine or another product that is very popular and i think this like blew up on tiktok i think i saw it on tiktok one day and i was like oh my god i use that so this is the miss jessie's pillow soft curls and it like almost disappears when you rub it in. It smells like laundry detergent if I'm being honest and I honestly don't mind it. I actually really like it. This stuff is so good in your hair. It makes your hair so soft, hence the pillow soft curls in the title. And then the very last product that I'm going to mention is this Wella Sugar Lift Spray. So this is what 
this looks like. It's relatively similar to the Carl Smith Souffle, just in a spray form. I really enjoy this. I purchased mine at Ulta. So for this video and for today, I'm going to be using the Pillow Soft Curls Cream. So I literally take that much. You don't need a lot. And then I just again scrunch it in my hair so those are all the products that i use in my routine i keep it super simple and i do this routine in literally like two minutes i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you learned anything new make sure to hit that like button and yeah i'm really glad that i was able to film this video and i will see you guys in my next one take care bye